All right, welcome to the call. This call is being recorded for you all to have opportunity to learn, earn, do whatever you need to do so that you can profit in the market. And um, it's every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My family, they wanted to go out to eat and wanted, to, wanted me to go hang out. But I told them, no, I've already committed. My word is out there. So I cannot go with y'all. Y'all go ahead. Just bring me a doggy bag, all right? So I am literally, um, you know, committed to you guys and committed to seeing us all get to our goals. So we just going to go over what happened last week. We do this verbatim every week. Um, we're going to go through the charts and see what we got. So let's just start with the DXY from last week. Let me see if this is the right chart that I'm going to look at. How y'all doing anyway? How, how besides Fred? Fred always, you know, open his mic up and, and holler, at, holler at me. But how's everybody else doing? Let me see who else is on here. Jazz, I'm good. Hey. I'm doing great. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, good evening, everybody. Good evening. That's hey, Lane. Hey, girl. Hey. I'm hey. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna go over what we have. <laughs> So let's see. I'm gonna um slide this over. Y'all can't see my screen, right? Yeah. All right, yes. Don't let all the riffraff get y'all um, you know, flustered. Or even if you're watching the video later, just just follow, follow, follow. So I'm gonna go unmute because I got a little. We got a new doggy, y'all. <laughs> all right, it's all good. You can unmute if you need to ask any questions or say anything. It's all good. So okay. Um. The DXY, we were right here last week, Sunday, which was the 26th. So we were looking for the dollar to kind of pull back down here in this area. So the dollar did fall a, a lot. And we all kind of know, if you've been watching the news, you kind of know what's going on um, with China and all. I just, I don't even want to get into it. It's kind of frustrating for me because it's like, this didn't happen until stuff until certain people happened, okay? And I'm gonna leave it just like that. I'm not gonna talk too much. On leave it at that. We know. We know. Exactly. Leave it at that. So it's just like, oh my God. But like I said, in God we trust, and that's just what it is. So we have the dollar to fall. Um, I was expecting the dollar to just really get right here. I don't like to, like I said, guys, I don't like to look too far in the future. I like to just, you know, keep my analysis straight to that point and then watch it to the next point. So this is what I saw, and it did play out here. But I was expecting when it got here that it would probably consolidate a little bit and then finally push back up, but it did not even do that. It literally just kept falling, falling, falling. And like I said, we know why. But if we look currently at the dollar, um, we look currently at the dollar, we see the dollar is bullish right now pushing up. Let me go to a higher time frame real quick. In here. All right. So, like I said, this low right here, we haven't taken out. This low right here it hasn't been taken out. So, we've been making, we have a, see if I can annotate on this thing. We have a low here. And then we have a higher low. And then, uh, I mean, a higher high and then a higher low here. Okay. So, this structure is kind of like that, which will eventually give us, hopefully, depending on what. Is going on in the world, we might see this push off of this zone right here. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So what I have for the DXY this week, I'm just going to kind of go back. Just let me kind of scan it through each chart because I have two charts that I've been looking at. All right. So like I said, we got right here. And this, where you see this orange at right here, that is, anytime you see that, that those are my hour uh support and resistance zones okay and um i use those to help me gauge like you know support and resistance supply and demand is all kind of the same thing so as you can see we're pushing up if i have to make a decision right this minute let me get rid of this cross here because it is driving me wild okay i'm looking at this area right here This area right here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this pink right here. This is my 30 minute. Um, I'm looking at this area right here. If you go in and look at this, this is giving like 
double bottom type of situation. You all see that like W's, M's and W's in the market, the bigger one. Um, and we're just maintaining this level of support right here. We're maintaining that price does not break below that. Now price break below that, then I'll be like, oh, okay, cool. I could reanalyze things and say, hey, we're still in this downtrend situation. But um, price right now is pushing up very bullish. So really for me to think it's going to continue higher up into this re region up in here, I'm just going to look for price to kind of do something like this. Uh, I don't like to draw my patterns too far in the future, but I'm just going to kind of pull it about right up in here. And I'm going to do it like that. And I'm only going to just draw it to about right here. Even though this is not a major area, it might just break all past that. But I don't like to go too far. So I'm going to look forward to kind of like do this. Now, I always give different scenarios in the market because we don't control the market. We have to learn to react to the market. And I say it all the time during trainings. I say it all the time during these calls. Just wait. Don't don't try to be like a genius in this market or a wizard. Like literally sit on your hands and wait for confirmations. A lot of people lose trades because they too jumpy and too old. I'm, I'm having FOMO. I'm having fear of missing out and getting in the market too soon, too early, you know, and just really, really, really jacking your accounts up because of something like you're not waiting. So like literally last week, I recorded a video talking about, you know, really leaving money on the table and patience and an experience that I personally have. I'm going to drop that video um, this week. I'm going to drop it. Just kind of going over a trade that I took and um, just making sure you be patient and have your confirmations. And I, I, I wasn't patient on one trade. I took money and made money. But I could have made so much more if I just would have waited because I had my confirmation. All right. So like, as you can see, this is maintaining a level of resistance and we have, we kind of broke a little bit, but it did not close up there. So I'm not really like sold completely on that. So I need to see it break this area, like, and stay above this area and then come back and touch this area to think it's going to continue any higher. So that's really what I'm looking at. Now, honestly, if anything else happens, I could throw on here like a little minor trend line. And I'm just going to kind of probably, yeah, I don't really like this trend line that much, but I'm going to throw this trend line right here just, just as a possibility um, for me to start thinking that this is going to sell. I want to see this break and start, you know, breaking these areas like either this trend line or breaking below here and preferably breaking below here. Now, like I said, I say this every week. I don't trade the DXY. I don't enter buy and sell on it, but I use it as a confluence to gauge where all the pairs that are currency pairs that are trading with the US dollar in it to tell me where those pairs are going. So if I have a pair like GDP USD, if this dollar is rising, then I know GDP USD is selling. Okay. Vice versa with gold. If this is rising, um, then gold is selling most of the time. Most of the time, unless it's some freaky and crazy going on. All right. Any questions about this DXY so far? Anybody? Any questions? Okay. All right. So we're going to keep it moving. So that's what I'm looking for. If this does that, if it keeps wicking and acting crazy right here, I'm not going to, to think this dollar is just going to keep, you know, going up. But um, the, the next scenario, like I said, is to wait for price to break down here retest push here or break retest here and go down so that's just what i'm looking for in the market all right on on the dxy so next i'm going to go to oh really quick sure i have a question sure sure go ahead so so remember you were just talking about being patient and stuff so the goal for both directions is to wait for it to hit the retest line to know which way it's going to go, if it's going to go up or down. You just yeah, because you see all these times that it just fell, 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 and then price pushed down to this point, didn't break below uh -huh. this point, and then pushed right back up. Right now, we're getting something called weak exhaustion, and that exhaustion mm -hmm. is telling me that it's kind of like weakening out right there. Let me go to a, a lower time frame. I don't want to be all on a higher time frame. Just that. So you'll be able to see, see more information right there. Um, as you can see, we had, see, yeah, it's just, it's too much exhaustion there right now to just say, oh, I know for a fact 
that it's gonna break up, but literally, um, it could it could break it. But at this time, I'm not confident to say the dollar is gonna constantly keep pushing up to say, okay, I have confirmation for it. No, nope, wait for confirmation and then bust your move. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I could even get more closer here and throw another 15 minute trend line right here just to, which I, is very, very likely to get broke because price could do something like this, literally break this. Let me see if I can draw this. Break through here like this and consolidate and then still go up. And then somebody like, oh, it broke. And it's broken. It broke and retest this trend line and it's consolidating. And they're thinking it's going to fall down. That's not factual. So you have to wait for the price to really, really show you what it's going to do in order to make the move. Did that answer your question? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay. All right, cool. I, I want to make sure I answered the question. So, um, man, I don't get this on my screen. Okay, I'm just trying to get this little sharing thing off my screen. I don't see how to get that off. Let me stop sharing and share one more time. Share screen. All right, sorry about that, y'all. So we're going to move on to the next pair. Next pair I'm looking at is, is gold. And gold is what I trade all the time. All right, let me move this out. All right, so gold, I had gold going for a sale. If it breaks and this breaks in this region up in here, I already had this set up. Let me see if I have it that looking better on a different chart. Yeah, all right, here we go. And it played out already, y'all. <laughs> oh my God. So I, I, that's another thing I hate about getting on the call at 6.30. I like to do the calls before the market opens so we can catch these moves when the market open but i'm still going to give you guys some analysis on this so this is what i was waiting for we were let me see where were we last sunday 26 26 was hold on a second y'all let me find the 26 okay all the way over here It's not my chart I'm looking for. Hold on one. Let me find this actual problem. Here it is. Okay. So here we go. We were over here last Sunday. Let me open this up a little bit. I was expecting price to literally pull back further than it actually pulled back, but that's okay. We did get a pullback from over here within, let's see here, this area right here. We got this little pullback right up in here which gave us, I think, like 80-something pips or so. Let me see. It's like 80-something pips that it gave that move. But then I told you guys to watch it when it gets in this region up in here, and then we will see possibly some sales happen. And boy, oh, boy, did it sell for 331 pips. So we had that to play out really, really nicely. Um, Right now where we are, we go to a higher time frame. I was expecting to sell because we kept consolidating at this point right here. And we kind of been in this little little pennant or whatever you want to call it, uh, triangle, whatever they call them. I don't get too wrapped up into the names. I just try to take the money off the market. I don't get too caught up. But literally, like, price had been consolidating, consolidating, consolidating. We hadn't broke past this level of resistance right here, and we broke it last week and now it came back for several retests to this point and it did not break it all right so i was looking like okay great we broke down very 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 bearish on friday price pushed down super strong and i'm like okay if i look at the structure of that this was a nice little move here from point a to point b price pulled back here and we just hit this negative 27 right here so to get in this trade I am looking for, I did not get, I didn't take none of this. I did not, but I was busy. I didn't take none of it, but it did play out. Wait for price to pull back, y'all. Wait for price to pull back. Go for a lower time frame. Let it kind of pull back here. And if it wicks and just don't give you any type of momentum pushing through here, then we're going to take it down. Where will we take it down to? Like my first stop would be literally right here at this level of support, okay? 
Nice little entry. Just to here at 130 pips. Okay. So let me get a bars pattern for that. So maybe something like this. Let me see. Something that looks very nice and similar to that. So maybe something that looks like this. Let it pull back. Don't try to, you know, pray both ways. You can do what you want, but I'm I'm waiting for confirmation in order to take this position. So I'm gonna let it pull back, let it come down, and then I'll make my move from there. All right. So if I looked at that that way, let me just pull it. I can't really pull that like that really right now because I'm just I, I'm just kind of like thinking like possibility if that happens if it pull back like that and stop here then literally I'll expect it to come a little further than that probably about like that all right so that's what I'm looking for now on the flip side let me give y'all that flip that flip now this thing comes say say for instance it's here. And it just keep pushing, pushing, pushing. And we get a strong bullish momentum and the dollar just go to hell. Literally, I'm cool with that. It's whatever. So at this point, I'll just look for price to break above here. If it broke above here, let it pull back and then I'll take it back up here. But I'm more favorable to the sale, okay? I'm more favorable to the sale. Any questions about gold, guys? Or, oh, anybody else before I ask? <laughs> no, go, no ahead. Go, ahead. go ahead. Okay, for gold, um, is it the same strategy like for taking the position, or do you look for a certain um, um, time frame to take the position for for gold, or do you stick to the five minute chart? Um, um, actually, what I do is I am looking at whatever structure that I'm on. Okay, so like. If I go to the hour, this is a strong breakthrough here, right? This was a level that was being respected, respected at first. But at this point, now price is pushing very, very bearish ever since last Friday. So for me to take an entry, of course, I don't enter on the hour 30 minute. I enter either on the 15 minute or the five minute because I can see more information as I, as I, you know, as I go down to a time frame. So. I mean, I'm make sure I'm understanding your question. That's what you want to know. What time? Yeah, I, right? I just didn't know if you like did something different because the pair is more volatile than the other ones. No, 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 no. I don't. I enter on five, fifteen, sometimes three minutes if I, I'm feeling like, man, I want to catch like, I want to make sure I'm not missing nothing. But yeah, I'm on five and fifteen. I don't enter on nothing else. Okay. Yep. So watch, because as you go down, you'll see more information. You see, this is still still pushing. Like, it pulled back a little bit here, but I want to see it pull back a little more before I actually get into this trade. Because I'm not, how many times you jump in on a falling knife or something pushing real, real hard, and then that bad boy, as soon as you jump in, then it'd be like, pew, right back up for the retest, and you held hell of a drawdown. That's just not what we're doing. <laughs> I don't have too much experience with that to be, like, anti and if I miss the tr if I miss my entry on it, then guess what? I'll wait for another entry because the market's gonna always give you an opportunity to get in. You know what I'm saying? Like I can give you a prime example here. Look at this impulsive move here. Then look at this correction that happened here, right? Uh, let me draw this out. We're on 15 minutes, so we're looking at real minor structure type of thing. So let me change this so we don't blind nobody's eyes. All right, so you see this? Of course, my entry, I would have loved to caught an entry up here because we sell it, right? I would have loved to caught this entry somewhere in this region. But guess what? If I didn't catch that and it started leaving me, nothing wrong with drawing some trend lines up in here on the structure. So say for instance, I'm like, I didn't catch that and I missed it about right up in here. So I'll draw my trend line. And wait for breaking the retest. This could have been another entry to catch this move down if I miss this one. Y'all get me? Yeah. Yeah. So the market gonna keep giving you opportunities, opportunities after opportunities. You're not 
it's not one one trade entry, like literally, it's multiple entries that you can take on it. Okay. So any more questions on that? All right, we're moving right along. Let's go to GU. GU, GU, GU. All right, so this was my analysis with GU. I was looking for price to play it out already. <laughs> play it out already. I hate that. Ugh. All right, I, I'm glad it played out, but I'm like, it's played out right before the call. It's just nerve wracking. But um, I was looking for price to push down and hit this negative 61.8. So now I'm watching it right here. So I'm watching this right here for price to retest back up here before thinking it's going to continue to sell or do anything. Now I have this literally, if it respects this negative 61.8, which I believe it will, then we can see price give a retest. Because if you look at this area right here, this blue line, let me just, let me go to the higher time frame because you need to see a little more information. So, like, if you look at this area, this is my four-hour trend line. This blue trend line that you see going here. Price kept bouncing off of it, bouncing off of it, bouncing off of it. But literally, it just broke it, okay? It broke it nicely, okay? So, I more than likely going to give some kind of retest back to that area, okay? Waiting to see what it's going to do. I'm going to sit on my hands and wait for some type of retest. Now, if it doesn't go all the way up there, cool. I'm just going to watch how price reacts once it pulls back around in this region. Now, if you want to take this buy, you need confirmations for it. It's just not ready just yet. Let's see. Uh, this is a 15 minute trend line. So this is a prime example of what I was talking about, break and retest. This is really would be a valid break and retest. So we need to see price. Let me just drag my trend line over a little bit more. I'm going to adjust that trend line. So I just kind of want to see what I'm going to do because it could like fall some more. Good. It could fall some more before pulling back. So watch it when it pulls back to this area right up in here. Watch for a pull back here. And if it gets back to this point right here and exhaust, then it'll continue down here. But if it gets here and it's pushing strong, we're going high. All right. Those are the scenarios right now. You have to keep that, that those scenarios in mind because you got to keep your mind in a place where it could do this. It could do that. Look, I had divergence right here on the minor time frame. But look, of course, I knew that negative 61.8 right there needed to be hit because that's what structure said. And guess what? It fell and hit that point. So right now I'm just waiting on a pullback. If I get a pullback and it rejects here, then I'll continue to carry it down. But if it breaks above this, I'll wait for price to go here and retest. I, can, I mean, wait for a retest and then we can buy it back up. All right. So just wait for confirmation on that before you actually enter that for that buy. Any questions, guys? All right. No questions. No. All right. So I don't mark up really GJ because that's not a pair I really trade like that. So we can look at, oh, matter of fact, let me go to GU. GU, yeah, last week GU did play out. I forgot to mark it, to look at that. Go to GU on here. Yeah, see GU right here, guys. This is where we was last Sunday. Went up for about, I think, like 65 or so pitch just from what we analyzed, not from what the market did. Like, it was crazy. I just took, told y'all to take it from here. But if you saw that this thing kept on pushing and you were good, you could have got another entry from up in here and look off to the races. It was gone. So now, like I said, same thing here with this whole situation. That was the same thing I was talking about in the other trade. Let's move on to NAS 100. Mass 100 last week, I told y'all, I don't think we marked it up on the call, but I did drop it in the group. So let's look at the Telegram real quick. Beginners group, let me go to the channel. All right, so let's see, this, this is US 30. So this is Mass last week. We posted this on the 27th on Monday. 
I told y'all to look at this area. I knew we were diverging. I know divergence pretty much tells you that the market is getting ready to do something different, go in a different direction, but divergence is not anything that's an end-all, be-all to where you just, like, as soon as you see the market diverging or whatever, you, know, you see your RSI or your, your MACDs doing different things, it don't mean like, oh, okay, let me just jump in a sale because it's diverging from this buy. No, you have to wait for confirmation before it actually gets it can keep on diverging. And that's just something y'all need to make sure y'all keep note of because I have had my share of jumping in too early just because I saw some divergence. So looking at where we are right, where we was on Sunday, like I was talking about let the price, you know, finish out whatever it's doing right here, consolidating. Um, and we can get this little push down before carrying this bad boy back up. And let's look at it real quick. Is this the charge? Like, uh, I'm always fluctuating between these two charts. All right, here we go. So this is the chart after the aftermath of what it did. All right, so we did get that push down. So I think like, like I don't know. I think it was like a hundred. Let's see how many points was it. Sunday. Uh, Sunday was here. So let's just say we'll just measure from right here to right here. So this whole thing fell further than what I expected it to fall, but it literally fell for 206 points. All right. And then after that fall, it pushed right back up. It went further than I actually expected, guys. I only expected it to kind of like stay within this region up in here and then shoot right up. It did not do that. And so, of course, if you were in a sale, then you got more. Um, price bounced off of our four hour trend line and then after bouncing off that trend line then we end up getting this move right here now where I'm at right now we need to pull back we need to pull back this market has been super this move has been super super volatile pushing 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 so now where we are we're headed up but we need to pull back first so if I would do anything at this present moment I would allow price to pull it back, which is what it's doing right now. I would like to see it come here. No, no, no lie. I really would like to see it come and retest these areas because once you see it, it broke this area. We never touched it again. We never came back to it. So um, it just depends on how volatile price is pushing. We got this really, really bearish candle that pushed down this today. It must have gap. It doesn't look like a gap on here, but it definitely must have gapped or something like that. That's quite a bit of a candle. So at this point, watch it. You can put a 15 minute low trend line there. If you want to take the sale, let it break, retest, and you can carry it down here. Once we get here, watch how we react. If it bounces, then we bind it back up. Y'all follow me? Because like literally, I believe we're going to get at least to, let me see, let me look left. One second. We had a major break of structure. This was a major break. This area, this blue area is like really major that it broke that area. So price literally needs to pull back and then we could possibly continue up to this zone up in here, okay? Any questions about NAS, y'all? Jazz, I know you trade NAS. You still trade NAS? Trade NAS. Girl, I'm work. I'm about to mark my chart up tonight. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. I'll ask questions. Oh, go ahead. Oh no, because I I wasn't paying attention to this one just right now. All right. So this is just pretty much what I was saying is that I'm just waiting. Like we need price to pull back some before because it's been going. Look at this whole trend. It's been like super super volatile, playing out really nicely, but. Um, the price is pushing very volatile. You, you want to wait for price to give a pullback. Once you see all these candles green, green, green going like that, don't think, oh, okay, the market is going to keep shooting up just forever. It's got to pull it back at some point. So we need a retest uh, roughly in this area. So I, if you're a person that want to take a sale, okay, mm -hmm. definitely need to pull back. Um, you will wait for price to break this area mm -hmm. and get a pullback. And then you can look to take it to this area. Now, okay. after we get to this area, then I'll look, watch how it acts here. As of right now, I'm not in thinking nothing really 
fully as of yet because right now we're just sitting right here. You know what I'm saying? After this big push. Because the market, all I know, can just sit here and then pow, shoot up again. This depends. But I need right. confirmation. I can't stress that enough. That's why we don't lose trades because of somebody. We don't just hop in the market because we see a pushing candle. All mm -hmm. right. So I'm waiting for a confirmation and break and retest to take it here. Once it get here, watch it, how it reacts. If it act like it's weakening out and don't want to go any further, then let's buy it back up. And then we'll, we'll once we do that, let me go ahead and pull the fib on this real quick. All right, so if it pulled back and retest this area, then I would look to at least carry it right to this point right here, which is 13351.6, okay? Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's it, all right? So let me go to US, any, any more questions about this one? Nobody? All right, well, I'm gonna go to US 30 and we're gonna get ready to wrap it up. So US 30 last week, and y'all excuse me because I do flip between charts because I can't stand super messy charts because I got to be able to see my stuff clear. Otherwise, I lose money if I don't see clear. So you literally got to make sure your charts are clean. So let me see this one, US 30. Let me go to a higher time frame. Let's see what I'll do. Oh, we're right here. All right. All right. So. Let's see, this was that Monday. We were looking for this little buy here. This buy did play out beyond measure, okay? We got this buy. That buy played out for 326 points. It was beautiful. And then we literally consolidated at this point and price fell back below and retested this same area again. And if you were able to catch this entry, this next buy was to the moon, all right? So same thing as with NAS. I am not budging. It needs a pullback. It needs a pullback. So I'm not really going crazy on explaining this because they, they kind of do the same thing, kind of. So let a pullback happen. We broke this level strongly. Let it pull back some. So let me go to a lower time frame. Watch it at different levels of where it broke through, like, I'm really wanting to see it pull back here. So if you want to go ahead and pop a trend line on here, very steep. But nevertheless, it is a valid trend line. Same thing, different pair. Let it break, back, take it here, then watch it there, same thing. There's nothing else to do <laughs> but to wait. And let the confirmation turn the alerts on and wait and let the market come to you and show you what's up. Any questions about any of these pairs? Anything? Anybody want to say questions? I'm, I'm open because that's all I marked up. Any questions? That's the only ones I care about. <laughs> Jess. Jess, so that's the only ones I care about. I, look, I'm with you. I'm with you on that. All right, well, listen, guys, um, this call will be put on YouTube. Make sure you share the YouTube channel with your friends and family, okay? Um, I'll keep updating y'all in the chat and in the private groups as well. Um, and listen, let's have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed week. And I will see y'all on the charts in the market. Let's get some money this week, all right? Wait for your confirmations. All right. Yes, ma'am. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. All right. Be blessed, y'all. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you, Coach. All right. See you later. Talk to you soon.